So today we got another nice addition to the Tin Hi-Fi family of audiophile IEMs and the P1 Max is the latest rendition to the P1 family of earbuds in Tin Hi-Fi's portfolio of planar magnetic earbuds. So these IEMs today is sent over to me for review by Hi-Fi Go and it's been quite a pleasant collaboration so far and I've had the privilege to try out unique and rare products thanks to them. And although these were sent over to me, there are no money exchanging hands and this review is based on my honest and unbiased opinion. So the P1 Max read Details for a handsome 745 Malaysia ringgit or about 170 US dollars. Comparing to other genre of earbuds from Teen Hi-Fi such as the T3 Plus that we've checked out previously, these are way more expensive than those. But again, you're getting a planar magnetic driver which in itself is already expensive to produce. So if you're interested in these IEMs, do check out Hi-Fi Go's website on them. So the design of the P1 Max is pretty top-notch and you're gonna get very nice materials for this IEM. The majority of these earbuds is made of a nice high quality plastic and Tin Hi-Fi gives you a stainless steel face cover with nice design in front as well. Something like an elongated honeycomb or a cell structure. These are pretty cool looking and not like your conventional boring design. So the earbuds comes with a nice contour on the inside of the earbuds and it really fits me nicely and really well. And I'll call myself an IEM boy because every IEM that I've tested so far, they all fit me really nicely. So inside the IEMs, you're not going to get your standard issue dynamic driver here, but in the case of the P1 series IEMs, you're all going to get a 14.2 millimeter planar magnetic driver setup. So this stuff is pretty good and expensive to make, pretty big in terms of its size for an IEM, so it's definitely sufficient to pump out good quality audio. Especially when paired with a good DAC M, these would sound really nice. So everything else here is pretty much made out of plastic and even the ear tips that you're going to get here is plastic, so nothing too fancy with the build quality here. One thing I would like to see Teen Hi-Fi throw in the box would be a very nice nice leather pouch because for all of their earbuds we're still getting the cloth bag that they give with all their earbuds so at this price point I would love to see a proper leather case. So the P1 Max comes with a detachable cable just like how every good pair of audiophile IEM should. What Teen Hi-Fi provides here is a pretty cool 108 core high purity mono crystalline copper cable right so it's all copper and inside there's 108 cores. That's crazy. So unlike what we see from Hydis, which is a mix between silver and copper braiding, the Tin Hi-Fi comes with full copper cable and which means that they provide a much smoother, warmer sound signature compared to silver cables. From my test, I think this IEM needs the copper cable because when you first pull them out of the box, they sound pretty cold and metallic which is odd but after extensive use for many days, you start to hear it blossom into something pretty warm and full. I'm pretty sure this is me getting used to the audio signature of the P1 Max because when I use something else and go back to the P1 Max, it kind of feels cold again. So what you're going to get here is also a nice gold-plated 3.5mm uh, headphone jack so you can connect them to most of your players or your mobile phone out there. So one of the main features with the P1 Max is the inclusion of a 14.2mm planar magnetic driver which is a rare occurrence on its own especially in small IEMs like this but with the entire P1 range, that is what you get. With a planar magnetic driver, you're going to get two magnets that space between a diaphragm in the middle that vibrates to give you clean distortion resistant audio response. In the case of the P1 Max, the diaphragm is an ultra thin 2 micron aluminium diaphragm which in its case is supposed to provide you with the best and most efficient resonance possible. Also, the P1 Max is a fully wired setup so you're not going to get any form of Bluetooth streaming which is good because with high quality audio, you don't really want to stream it through Bluetooth unless you have some high-res codecs to pair with. The earbuds also comes with a decently low 16 ohms of impedance meaning that these IEMs, despite it being a planar magnetic earbuds, do not require high-powered equipment to run them. And I have no issues playing this over my Sony DAP player without the need of an external deck amp and it still sounds pretty decently loud. When I first used these earbuds out of the box, like I've mentioned, they sounded a little bit metallic, a little bit cold. I believe you do get used to earbuds, especially if you use them exclusively and over time, they started to sound better. But I know it's pretty much me getting used to them and it's not so much about burning in the drivers. When it comes to the bass, they are not strong and I know IEMs are not meant to be bass heavy but the P1 Max kind of got the bass tuned a little too low for my liking which kind of makes the earbud lack dynamism, unenergetic 
and doesn't give you that oom when you're listening to music. Every other frequency in these earbuds is great. Vocals are clear and you can actually hear layers very clearly with no issues. Brightness here is also really good and you can get that crisp right out of the box. This sound signature is what you'll experience if you typically use dynamic driver headphones since to some extent, modern dynamic driver can drive better bass than a planar magnetic can. To get a good bass response in this earbuds, you really need to play the right song, the right genre, at the right volume. However, with some songs when played loud, I do notice some distortion with the bass. Very subtle but you hear that mild annoyance, so that's something to take note of. Overall, the Teen Hi-Fi definitely has its audience and there are many who want to look for a nice small planar magnetic IEMs that they can use anywhere without the need to lug along big headphones or bring along deck amps. Audio quality is decently well and definitely fits the need of most casual listeners, but I suspect it won't satisfy the most demanding listeners. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere, and if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.